The Alzheimer's Association just released the findings of its 2023 Alzheimer's Disease Facts and Figures report, the annual report that reveals new insights and findings from patients and primary care providers. Dr. Nicole Purcell is a practicing neurologist and senior director of clinical practice at the Alzheimer's Association, and she joins us now with more. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's dive into this new report. What has been uncovered in this report? The 2023 Facts and Figures report shows that Alzheimer's disease continues to have a significant impact on affected individuals, their family members, and our country as a whole. More than 6.7 million Americans over the age of 65 are affected with Alzheimer's disease in our country alone, and that's a significant population, a significant amount. We know that this is a costly condition to society as a whole, but how specifically does Indiana fare in that? Indiana has approximately 110,000 individuals affected with the disease and more than 216,000 friends and family members caring for those individuals with the disease, so still a significant number. When we look at this disease and and really the the progression that it's made as far as being in, in the forefront of people's minds and thinking about it, why do you think still doctors and patients are hesitant to discuss concerns around memory and thinking? Well, individuals report feeling more comfortable talking about their memory and cognitive concerns with their friends and family members as opposed to talking to their primary care physician. That way they can compare notes to see if what they're experiencing seems normal or abnormal. It's hard to sometimes discern that too, right? As we get older, you know, we know memory loss is a thing, but at what point is that something that doctors need to be involved in? Well, anytime you're experiencing difficulty with memory or cognition, it's always good to talk to your doctor to get an assessment um, and to figure out what's going on. But um, it doesn't matter what age you are. There is no age limit here. So um, it is more predominant over the age of 65, but we want to encourage people at any age to talk to their doctor. So what can be done to make these important conversations part of routine care, you know, just those normal checkups? How do we overcome that hesitancy of talking about it? Well, we need to educate individuals uh, to talk to their primary care physician, but we also find that primary care physicians, if they open up a clinical visit with an informal discussion, they can often get a significant amount of information on the patient's memory and cognitive concerns in a more relaxed manner. So we need to encourage that to occur. In this report, was there anything that was that was surprising or or is this kind of continually following what what we've known and what we're continuing to learn? I think the most alarming thing about this report is that these conversations are not happening and they're not happening early. So we really need to encourage individuals to have this discussion and we need to encourage primary care physicians uh, to make this part of routine clinical care. Dr. Purcell, thank you so much for this informative discussion and for taking time to chat with us. Viewers wanting to learn more about this report and its findings can head to allindiana.tv. Doctor, again, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it.